Hey guys, welcome to Mom Style. I'm Colette. I'm Chelsea. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, don't forget to do that because you're not gonna wanna miss any of our fun content. Like today's video. Today, we are gonna show you how to shop for your kids' clothes without having to take them with you. It can be such a struggle. I, you know what? Even if I'm able to pick things out in the store, I can't get them paid for. Can't. Yeah, no, and then I'm embarrassed because I'm like dragging kids out from underneath the like racks and they're just running around and I'm yelling and sweating. It's really bad. I prefer to shop without them with a very large coffee. Yeah, so comment below if you think I'm a terrible parent because I can't control my kids. <laughs> uh, but let's start with hack number one. <laughs> so when shopping for kids' shoes, it's super annoying because different brands are different sizes. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I cut out a tracing of my kid's foot. So do this before you leave, cut it out, stick it in your purse. Once you get to the store, all you have to do is pick up a shoe you like, stick the drawing on the back. You wanna have about a thumb worth of room on the top and that's how you know to fit. That is an amazing hack. There are yes. multiple shoes in my closet right now that are the size that he is, but they do not fit because they're too big. Yeah, it's so I'm just annoying. waiting. Yeah. yeah, so the next hack has to do with clothing. You just have to go into your kid's closet, find a shirt that you know fits them, Perfectly. Perfect. Take that one to the store, lay it on top of anything you're considering buying, and it's a done deal. Yeah, so you don't have to guess, like, oh, should I get 2T, 3T? I don't know. Oh, it's yeah. so annoying. Especially, like, I don't know if you guys have ever shopped at Target. Some of the sizes, like, sometimes you buy a 2T and it fits perfectly, and sometimes you buy a 2T in another brand and it's huge. I know. Or it's way too tight, and you're like, well, I already washed it because I thought it was going to work and I'm going to get one wear. Yeah, and I'm not about to go back to the store. I mean, I do, but I don't want to. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, so the third hack for you guys is kids subscription boxes. Mm, easiest way to shop. Yes. Basically what you do is you fill in the online um, questionnaire type thing saying what kind of clothes your kids like, what kind of style they have, and their sizes in different brands. I use Kidbox, which sends them to you um, seasonally. I keep whatever I want, I send back what I don't want, and that way I don't even have to put my kids in the car. That is so good. Another really good one is Mac and Mia. A friend of mine sent that to me when my son was six months old. I literally did not want him to grow out of the clothes They're because, so oh, they were so cute. And the great thing about that one is there's no subscription necessary. You just try on all the clothes and pay for what you keep. Same thing, cool. Last bonus little item is, I don't know if you guys have taken your kids into a toy store and tried to tell them they can only get one thing. But that's a tantrum waiting to happen. Just trying to leave a toy store is like, even the toy aisle at Target. It's oh, like, forget it. I don't please, even go down that aisle. Me. I don't go down that aisle. So what you can do is there's a new toy box called Elf Box. It's for a little bit younger kids, but you basically fill out the same survey, what kind of developmental things that they're working on and whatever else, and they send you toys monthly that you actually can use for a month before sending them back. So you can see if your kid's actually gonna play with the toy, see if you like it, see if there's too many pieces, and you're like, I just, this thing is a hassle, I wanna send it back, you can. Okay, so can you use it for a month, and then you can use it for an entire month? Yeah, so and I, they even so you, don't care if you send it back with pieces missing, which th they're angels. So you can use it for a month, so basically you're like, Free the toys. best mom ever, and you're just like letting your kid have a new toy every month? Kind of. Oh it's probably not how it's supposed to be used, but whatever. It's pretty amazing. Like they, yeah, I, so far so good. I'm like two months in, I haven't kept all the toys. Some of them I'm like, you know what? Too many pieces, gonna lose these everywhere. But others of them I'm like, wow, I never would have bought this toy for him, but he yeah. loves it. And I know that they're all learning based. Oh, that's good. So I like that. And a lot of them are wood. So if you're into that, it's, it's great. Good for you. It's great. Okay, so those are our three with one bonus hacks on how to not be embarrassed by your children when you are shopping in public. You're welcome. 